Hey everybody, my name is Koen Bultz. My name is Milo. And uh, we got a new challenge for you this week. So this week, we're, we're choosing the, the most freaky guitar in our store. Whatever that may mean. So it can mean freaky in terms of playability, sound, sound, playability, looks, looks, origin. Most likely looks. <laughs> looks, I yeah. think, yeah. For the challenge, we both got 15 minutes to find the best, the freakiest. The most awesome guitar in store. Electric or acoustic? Anything. 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 Yeah. And you are not allowed to cheat. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you saying that, Kuhn? No, just that. So let's not wait any longer. Kuhn is known to be quite a cheater. Challenge. But that's okay. Because. Uh, Bye. <laughs> I'm going to find mine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can start a timer. Go. Let's go. So, the most freaky guitar in our store. There are a few different things to look at. Um, you can look for the most freaky looking guitar or the most freaky sounding guitar. Um, the first thing that came to mind was the most freaky playing guitar. And uh, that's this one over here. As you can see, it's, uh, it doesn't have any frets and it's really freaky to play. So this is definitely a contender for me. Uh, the first thing that came to mind when I thought about a freaky guitar. Um, let's see, I think I'm just going to walk through the store and see if I can find anything else. There's a lot of ground to cover because we have the electrics and the acoustics today to choose from. I would say this is quite a freaky guitar. Wouldn't you say, Pepijn? A little bit too freaky maybe. But that's, that's, that's the whole goal, <laughs> to find the most freaky guitar. Kaufmans are really nice, it's quite a freaky new design. Um, but I think they aren't freaky enough. I think it should be more out there. Gold guitar. It's cool. Not too freaky, but it's nice. Uh, <laughs> didn't even see that behind the door. Yeah. What do you think? This could be one that Kuhn chooses as well. So when you have a, a snow in front of your door, you can also use this. Uh, <laughs> Um, I think we're going to the acoustic. <laughs> there are definitely some freaky guitars uh, in this room. So this is our vintage uh, room and we have some Australian made guitars as well. Uh, this is a really cool one. It's not really that freaky or weird, but there, it has one weird uh, characteristic. Um, so this is a 58 J50, yes. Uh, it has two knobs and um, they don't control anything as far as I know someone decided to install them once and uh, I think it only makes this guitar even cooler uh, Scott Matthews also used this uh, very guitar when he shot a TFOA session but it's not enough I need more freaky ah okay Gela's double top so it's a double top classical guitar but have a look at that so the way that the tension is transferred to the top, it's uh, it's more it's not a downward uh, pressure, but the upward pressure. That's really weird. So you can see the two tops uh, intertwining here. It's a really strange design. I wonder if it really works that well uh, because you don't see the <laughs> after this was built really. Um, but it makes for quite a freaky guitar. Let's see. I think I need to check some more rooms. Quite the quite standard classical guitars. Of course we have things like ukuleles and, and, and resonators and mandolins, but I don't think they really count uh, for this challenge. So we're going upstairs. Unlike last time, uh, there are people here in the store. Luckily, we can have uh, some people over. And uh, during COVID, when we shot the first episodes, there weren't any people. These are just really beautiful guitars. I don't think they are freaky in any sense. So uh, we have some boutique builders here. Uh, we have Bourgeois, we have Thompson, we have Collings, uh, Iris guitars as well. Um, really beautiful uh, guitars, but not for this challenge, I think. There's some left-handed guitars, of course, really freaky. I don't think we have a really freaky acoustic guitar. Why didn't I talk about this? This was here when I just went into this room. Maybe I got used to seeing this guitar, but of course, this is not a standard guitar. Uh, this is very old as well. About 1915, so it's a harp guitar. It's, it's really old and it's really cool. When you're a fingerstyle player, and you want some of the low notes resonating as well. Try this out. This isn't really freaky, but it's 
relatively <laughs> freaky, I think, the Acoustasonics. They work great, but it takes a bit uh, get, of getting used to for the sort of the, the classic uh, uh, guitar, electric guitar player. More lefties. Ooh. No, we're going to the vault. So in the vault is where we keep all the really, really expensive uh, guitars. So these are not really strange as such. I think I already know what I'm going to choose. Um, I didn't find anything. Oh, well, maybe this is not really that freaky, but it's... Look at that. Let's call it special instead of freaky. Um, for me, it's still the, the first guitars I, I, I saw, um, the Den Electro and the fretless the Vichy. I think maybe we're more used to seeing a double neck guitar um, because, of course, Jimmy Page. So I don't think that will be the winner. I think the winner will be the Vichy uh, fretless. So let's walk over there. So we have another one that's completely black, but I think this purple one is really cool. I hope I can make it sound good because it's really difficult to play. But this is just a great guitar. So uh, built in France, completely built by hand. A very, very cool fretless guitar. Um, there are some demos of uh, uh, Guthrie Govan as well. He plays this. Uh, they sound great because he's a monster player. This is going to be my choice. I'm really interested to see what Kuhn is going to pick. But right now I'm going to keep this away from him. For this challenge we got 15 minutes to find the freakiest guitar in store. And of course... I'm not stupid. And Milo cannot be trusted in challenges like this. So I already put away a guitar in a corner somewhere. Uh, with my companion, uh, where we are going now. <laughs> so we don't need 15 minutes. <laughs> so these are all the open work orders. Yeah, we can do a bit of sightseeing tour now. Adrian, are you ready? Oh, maybe it's... We got it all sneaked away, down there, where Milo is never able to find our yeah. guitar. Alrighty, so let's get it somewhere. Thank you very much. You're very welcome, sir. All right. <laughs> this is a bad comedian show. <laughs> so are we ready for the freakiest guitar in store right now? There she is. So this is an original 60s Carl sitar. And we'll tell you all about it in a minute. Hello. So, here we are. This is my choice. The most freaky guitar at the Fellowship of Acoustics right now. It's the Vigier Surf Fretter. The Amethyst Purple uh, Finish HSH configuration. Um, fretless, or one big fret, however you want to see it. It's going to be hard to get this to sound right in my hands, but I'm going to give it a go. And I was just waiting for, for Kuhn to arrive with his choice. Feels a bit like... Uh, being on a dating show or something like that. Kun! So, Milo, are you ready for the winning guitar? <laughs> or is it a sitar? We have to talk a bit about fair play, <laughs> don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> no. You can, you can, no, tell, the, you can no. tell the viewers, what's the situation? I found the best guitar, <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Because Kun is the owner of the store, he can uh, pick any guitar that, that came in. I just happen to play by the rules and uh, uh, walk uh, through the store but uh, you chose this it just came in so this is an authentic coral sitar and um, the coral sitars were something really cool in the 1960s so late 1960s the sitar was more and more known and to bridge the gap between guitar and sitar they invented this so Dan Electra is the maker of this instrument so together with Vincent Bell and uh, the idea behind this is that uh, every guitarist can play a sitar uh, on any recording without having to buy a sitar, buy a sitar. <laughs> learn to play a sitar <laughs> especially that <laughs> yeah so yeah, all original from the 1960s and I mean look at her it's it's freaky it's cool yeah it's so easier to play than a, than a real sitar it is, and, and you. So the idea is, with this steel block here, you get a uh, fretless all the time, yeah. and, and that's what creates all the sound. And then you have the 13 extra strings here, uh, which are not actually intended to play. So even though you can play it, with they only resonate strings. resonate with yeah. the guitar. Yeah. So it's uh, it's a really clever, really instrument, uh, really cool instrument, and it's very economic as well. Look at this. 
It's balanced. Yep. It feels good. It has controls that are easy to understand. So, it's a freaky guitar, but is it as freaky as my Vichy fretless guitar? What do you think? Did you use it this morning to do your hair and everything? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Brush my teeth like this. Ah. <laughs> it's a very <laughs> multi-purpose tool. <laughs> So I, I chose this because uh, it mostly in terms of playability. Um, when if you ever have the chance to play a fretless guitar, uh, do try it. It's a really strange experience. Uh, um, all the things you you want to play sound bad. <laughs> you have to really work on your tuning because you have to be right right on the note, right on where the fret should be. And most of the time you play. Uh, behind the fret, uh, maybe halfway up the fret, and uh, now you have to be really on the fret to, to play in tune. Um, but this is my choice with the beautiful amethyst purple finish. Cool. What do you think? It's pretty nice. It's pretty cool and it's pretty freaky, I must admit. Um, so we, <laughs> I think we got uh, two guitars for two completely different viewers. Yeah. Uh, should we listen to them a little bit? Yeah, and we really want to know um, who you think won this challenge. Um, I think it's clear, uh, but we're looking forward to, uh, to hearing your, uh, reading your comments. And let us know if you've ever seen something more freaky than these guitars, because we would love to read about them in the, in the comment section. Uh, sure. We're, we're guitar freaks, so anything you know, let us know, and uh, we'll definitely have a read about it. And let's have a listen. Yeah, you can play them. Uh.
Thank you.